What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Group Chart Analysis. It is July 1st, 2018. July, holy shit. July 1st, the beginning of, you know, the summertime or towards like the middle of summer. I guess a lot of people say August is like towards that end, but um, it's like officially, officially summer. We got July 4th happening on a Wednesday. So, mind you, markets might not be the same this week just because of holidays and shit. Um, especially if it's an American holiday, the markets are not going to be So things are going to be rather different for like Wednesdays and whatnot. So we'll see how everything goes. But um, just keep remi- remember that and uh, know that Wednesday you might not want to trade. <laughs> you, you could trade, but you might not want to. It all depends on what you're doing. Um, so Sunday, again, trap days are accessible to – happening so obviously you have to make sure that you're going to be you know looking at the market the right way that everything matches up and that you're not going to be making dumb decisions so with that being said let's kind of get into what we're going to be looking at um this week so i was going through like the monthly here i was a little earlier right before i started sharing my screen i was like i was drawing up some stuff on other uh charts and i started drawing up like these trend lines right here right this one right here so we have an overall like understanding of what's happening with eu if i go to the weekly it's going to change don't know why but it always does so i'm gonna do I'm gonna bring these closer we're gonna try to do this as smoothly as possible do this with the daily yeah, see, start changing a little bit. This down to here. Come on. Okay. Now, if we do this, whoa. Come and grab this trend line here. This trend line. No, it's about it's about it, I think. No, right here. So we got a trend line coming up. Hit zone as we speak. I mean I'll have to like fix this a little bit. No, that's about right. Cool. So we're looking at EU this on the four hour and Right now, it's close to hitting. I mean, if it's not already hitting, we're going to line this up a little bit better. That trend line that we're looking at right here, it's bouncing off the 144 on the four hour. All right, so if we're looking at this for a continuation, I mean, the EMAs are really close. Now, even though they're not already close, you can kind of predict that they can, they'll start to do some fluctuations as in like up and down movement. So when it comes to this, expect EU to possibly, um, a couple things actually. So if we're looking at today, it could possibly drop down for the beginning of the week, come back up, and for midweek reversal here, and then continue back down and kind of fluctuate out. So it might not be a crazy amount of movement. It could just be getting, go, getting stuck in between these uh, uh, support resistance zones, especially down here, one, two, three. So this would definitely be something that could happen. So be on the lookout, bouncing off at 144, just like it did here. It did uh, – Kind of like here, here, barely went up to hit the Mayo. Um, but as of right now, things are definitely looking like they're going to be continuing. Notice how the RSI is going up and down, up and down. This is telling us that we could possibly be looking for uh, potential sells on the Euro USD this week, looking for this to go down. Right? Now, if it doesn't, right, let's say something happens, there's news, maybe there is just something that allows us to uh, actually keep going. It would need to have either come down and retest, shoot up, break that trend line, and then buy, right? So you're not really going to be looking for this to be a buy until this trend line is broken. You're not looking for it to be a buy. I'd say the Mayo to be safe because look, every time it hits the Mayo, it kind of wicks down. So if you really want to be safe, you can look for this thing to break that Mayo, come down, and then shoot up. But you're really not going to be playing this for anything unless it breaks these highs. All right. If it doesn't, you're continuing with the trend. You're going, you're going to be continuing with it until it decides to break out of a certain area. Um, what's up? Who's saying? 
What up? Um, hold on one sec. Um, let me go to you, Chief. Here. This level. This level. Test it. Get really close to it. standpoint God damn it. Let's see. This support resistance drop down. We are going to be looking for the same thing to be happening here on YouTube, kind of like what happened on EU. Um, where it's testing little trend lines, support resistance zones, like this zone right here. Wow, that was horrible. Draw this right there. Support resistance. What? Draw it in. Here. Why can't this work? Right here. Go. So, a couple things. Either it's going to keep consolidating. Notice the EMAs are really tight. But it can either come back up, retest, kind of do the same thing that we looked at on EU. That's one thing that could happen. Um, mind you, I'm only on one of the four hour right now because it's it's the weekly. Um, it's the beginning of the week, Sunday. Um, it could do kind of what we just did here. Um, what is it? Break down, break that trend line, come back up, then retest that low. It could do that. Um, it comes up. It's only a couple things this could do. Um, right now, I really want to see what happens. Um, if it doesn't break this trend line, we'll definitely be looking for it to continue up this week, going up to retest that high. If it does, then you're definitely looking for it to retest for it to then come down and retest this low right here. So there's a couple things that we're gonna be looking for. Um, but other than that, that's what I want you guys just waiting for. If it, until it does it, don't touch it. Because this is just the beginning of the week. You shouldn't be trading on a Sunday anyway. So um, go to let's go to GU. Um, clean this up. Yeah, that's actually not that important. We go down to the daily here. Holy shit. <laughs> go over here. Sorry, this thing's being really slow right now. There we go. There you go. Four hour. That's right off the trend line. We got this one right here. Um, 
<laughs> I'm gonna say right now, just I mean, it's not really divergent. It's not the divergence that I like to see. So it's actually not divergent at all. So with GU, we're gonna be looking for this thing to consolidate and then drop back down to retest that level for the weekly. Um, unless what? Unless what? Consolidation breaks the trend line, then pops will act and retest. That's the only other way. All right. So we'll be keeping an eye out on this. See how this goes um, so that we can kind of make the prediction for further uh, for tomorrow as well. But definitely be looking for the team to consolidate. My overall, from what I'm seeing here, is I want this thing to be dropping. All right. So that's what we'll be looking for. Uh, UJ. Oops. The pain, the JPY pairs. Let me clean this up. Daily. It's more like this one. Why can I click you? Thank you. There you are. Right there. Okay. Go to this. A little bit more. Couple things. Here. Come on. There we go. There, four hour, always oh, gets ugly. This, there, this here. So it's looking like it's breaking this trend line that we have. Coming out, retesting this high couple things could happen so because of this forming new high breaking through now it could either go up to retest this high which or should I say recent daily high which would be around this zone here um, let me draw it out about there All right um, if it goes up to there, it might consolidate, and then it could push through. Um, I was looking at this trade for um, this this pair on a higher time period, like from the monthly, and we have it drawn out on the you know the higher time frame here for a little bit more room than usual. So about from there to there, and about from here. To here. Okay. Now, if we don't have this actual trend line in place, this is on a smaller time frame, giving us that you know reason to be looking for possible buys. I don't really see a reason as to why we're selling this yet, um, and I want to sell it, uh, but on a lower time frame. But the higher time frame, there's really not that big of a clear you know decision here to make to be looking for that. Uh, it could shoot up a bit, and if it does. And we can kind of watch it retest this top, this higher trend line, then possibly look for it to drop. Um, it's just in that zone. But I don't want to make any decisions on the, like it's going to be an intense buy or an intense sell until it hits this higher trend line. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in as much as possible. I'm going to have to make adjustments on it because every time I go from like the daily to like the four hour, it like it like transition for some reason. So, so if we go to the weekly to the daily, it actually might transition here. Look like it's not as high as it actually is. Yeah, see. All right, so this one from here to there. Okay. So this is the higher time frame trend line that we drew from like literally on the weekly going to the monthly. Like it's been respecting it like a motherfucker. So it's breaking this mini one that we have, the smaller time frame one, going through it, and it's shooting up to that higher time frame support uh, resistance. Sorry. So overall. On this, we could possibly potentially watch this thing shoot up. It does still have more room. Um, yes, it's divergent. It's not divergent yet, but it's starting to shoot up. And on this time frame where I don't really see anything for it to be a sell as of right now, it's still above the stationary 50, as you see right there. 
indicating uptrend on the, on the daily. Let's go to the four hour. Uh, really nothing here on the four hour. I mean, it was somewhat divergent over here, but it's slowly just kind of consolidated here. Last week was a reason. Last week was a huge reason as to why this pair, especially all the JPY pairs, are doing some crazy shit. Um, it's slowly starting to go up, right? So it's just kind of squiggle lining its way up here, and that indicates signs of uh, just slow momentum pushes just going up towards the actual uh, area that it's supposed to go, so it's slowly going upwards. Um, so we are either going to see this continue, or we're going to watch it come down to be test. That's literally what we're going to be watching. So and I'll come back over that tomorrow. We'll see how what happens tomorrow for Monday. Um, and we'll go over exactly the, the specifics of what to expect for that night. Um, and then we'll go from there. Let's do AU. Let me go to here. Weekly. Anything on here? I don't like that for trend line. Support. There. Come across. Good. Okay. This is a valid chart right here. This one will be if I draw it up correctly. So it's hitting that new low. It is divergent. You see the divergence here. This is on a daily guys, so you know we could be expecting. I'll go down the four hour in a bit. Um is divergent, leading us to believe that this could potentially shoot up um, for a pullback, kind of like what it did here. So just a small pullback could possibly see that push right up here and then a continuation shot. Um, let's go to the four hour. All right, so we have major divergence here. Um, price is coming down. Uh, this looks like it could be a valid buy. So we'll see. Let me draw these trend lines too. Giving myself some structure here. Cool. All right. So potentially, and this isn't a trend line. This is just me drawing divergence. Um, potentially, we could see this thing either consolidate here, bounce up, bounce out the trend line, and continue with the downtrend to retest the actual low. And if it doesn't take out that low, we could possibly watch it go back up to it, retest it again, or break it, finally reverse, then shoot up. All right, that, that's a possibility. Or we can watch it consolidate here, break it, retest, then go up, We'll go up to that uh, where the mayo will be. So this would be the first take profit zone if it were to do that. A um, couple things, honestly, but yes, it's divergent. It's retesting that station at 50. What I could possibly see is this coming down to retest just one more time. And especially here in this this area, because this is where the wicks kind of uh, retest it. So if this would do that, this would actually validate a small head and shoulders Right, it'll come down, retest that low, then shoot up. So it'd be like left shoulder, head, right, sorry, right shoulder, and then a shot up. Possibility. That's what we're gonna be looking for. Uh, GJ. Weekly. Yeah. 
obviously a downtrend. We had the breakage here. Breakage here. Couple breakages actually, but needless to say, it's still a downtrend. Well, that was weird. Daily. Here to here. So it's coming up on a trend line right now. Mm, these are too many lines. Here, look at these. Distracting me. Oh. Hey, you guys hear me? Sorry, my Wi Fi just cut out randomly. I don't know why, but I'm on my phone's hotspot right now, so that was a quick comeback. Wait, can you guys still hear me, though? We can yeah. hear you. All right, Sorry. Let's get it back going. Uh, daily trend line, four hour. Come on, go to the four hour. We have it retesting the zone right now. Could be possibly wicking, stop hunting, then coming down. It's a possibility. We'll see how this thing goes. Um, if not, it's turned off. It cut out. I'm on my hotspot right now. And like, there's like a power surge or something. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> All right, let's see. No, it's my connection. It just completely shut off. That was weird. All right. So since that, it's coming up on this trend line. It's retesting. We could possibly potentially watch it either wick here and then come back down. Or it could finally break it, make the new trend and go up. So there's a few things that could happen. Um, it's it's breaking this uh, where is it? It's breaking the stationary fifty, which is an indication of an uptrend. And for some reason, all the JPY pairs have been correlating lately, which is not normal. But again, JPY has been taking a hit all across the board. So uh, especially with last week, it fucking sucks. But we're gonna watch and see what happens here. It's either gonna break it tonight, all right? And then come down and retest. I was very dramatic draw. Wow. Come up, break it, retest, then shoot up, or it's going to completely bounce right back down and continue. So we'll come back, see what happens tomorrow, and we'll make the slight adjustments because either way, we're going to know exactly what's going to happen right after tonight. Um, Euro AUD. I've been wanting this thing to drop for a minute now. <clears throat> Let's see. Weekly. Support resistance there. Got trend lines there. Weekly. See, look at that. I go to the weekly. I just draw it on the on the wick itself. And it like bounced right off. Okay, cool. There. Uh, four hour. Let's draw this up. A couple things. That's one zone that we potentially have. Here's one zone that's actually retesting as we speak. Here. A nice supply zone, demand zone. Uh, what else? Look at this. You got divergence. Price going up. Looking like it's forming some sort of double top, but overall, I've been waiting for this thing to drop for a minute because on the weekly, it's setting up for a head and shoulders here. So 
of shoulder, head, right shoulder zone. It's just for the last week, it hasn't been really doing anything. Um, it's kind of just been consolidating, throwing all these wicks, kind of like what it did over here. See all these wicks? Did the same thing. Looking like it possibly could do it again, too. I just don't like the way this RSI looks. So we're going to have to see something happen very soon uh, for this to drop. But ultimately, my goal is to watch this thing continue. Possibly it might throw another wake up. If it does, you know, it's okay. It's still in the zone. But if it breaks these highs here, that's when you should be concerned for it to be looking for a buy again. But until that happens, I'm still holding to this thing that it's going to hold the, all the wicks, going to hold the zones. And eventually we're going to watch this thing drop down, break this water, come back, retest, and then ultimately drop for a long-term sell. So uh, we're going to see how that goes, see how it goes this week. I think this is actually weekly trend line here. There's that one. So there's a couple things we could be looking for. Uh, let's go to EG. EG finally broke that trend, that, that support or resistance line last week. Forming that new high. Let's see. Still ugly as hell. Daily. Here's the next like zone. There. Not there. Look at that massive wick, man. That thing wicked. Holy shit. Jeez. Well, if we're looking at this for a continuation, anything. Well, actually, let me draw this real quick. Either it's going to consolidate on this line and shoot up. It could potentially, I don't know, could break it, come back down, hit the water, and then go back up because this thing has just been all over the place. But as of right now, what I'm saying is that you don't really want to look for this to be a sell. This is not... This is not ideally a sell. I really think this thing's going to continue up, broke that new high. So this is just in the consolidation zone. Eventually, you're going to want to watch this thing come back up to retest that high. So that's what you're going to be looking for this week, essentially, is buys. Uh, let's go to GA. Oh, I didn't touch this pair. Oops. Oh, that's the one hour. Good. The way you move. This. No change. Come on. Skips here. Right. So it's testing that zone. Move in a little bit. Broke that trend line going down. All right, so this is following this to a T then. So you have the breakage here. Come back, retest, continued shot down. Right? So this is textbook. So and the EMAs are really tight. So like the fact that they broke that trend line, this will follow nicely. You're gonna be looking for sales this week. And it's below the stationary here, and it's retesting the stationary 50 at the same time as it is testing this water. So ideally you're gonna be wanting to look for sales this week. Sales on GA. Gold. Finish it off with gold. Draw this up. Here. Uh, 
let's go to the daily. Still has room. Still looks like it could be yourself. Nothing really big telling me it's going to be a buy. Um, it's divergent, but it's not the divergence I like. So if we're looking at this, either a continuation shot down or a possible potential shot up, but a shot back down. Overall, I still want you guys looking for sales. I don't like this at all for buys. This thing is just ugly. Uh, one hour. One hour. You, even there, you know, if we want to draw a trend line, maybe a like short term. There's that trend line, and this one, where it broke it, right? It's in the middle, honestly. It could shoot up, hit that trend line, and drop back down, which would be lined up with the 144. Or it could just shoot back down to retest that low, which by the time it does, it should be hitting that trend line overall for it to come right back up again. So wait on this. Either it's going to shoot up tonight or it's going to uh, shoot down tonight. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But, but the overall, that's what we're looking for in these pairs. Um, I said it was going to be shorter, but honestly, like with this, this is probably how I'm going to start doing the Sundays. Just overall, they're breaking down like, um, the what the weekly structure what we could be potentially seeing um, and then going from there so uh, that was that um, any questions real quick if there's no questions I'm going to just put this in the group a couple new people out here what is this you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome people so everyone here have a great rest of your Sunday I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock that's the analysis for the week uh, the uh, for the day so far, and we'll come back on and see what happens so we can kind of figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the week. Peace out, everybody.